Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Played Up, learning the basics, food card tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about the dish breakfast and all associated cards that are specific to the breakfast dish. When most people, when they say breakfast, they mean the toast because toast is what you start out with when you have your breakfast run. Now, toast or bread, excuse me, or as well is very easy to make. You grab your flour, you place it on a kneading surface, which could be a workstation. It could be a mixer, although I'll give you a tip about that in a second, or it could be a regular counter. You knead the dough by interacting with it one time, turns it into the dough ball, then you put it on any cooking surface. You could use the starter hobs, regular hobs, safety hob, danger hob, oven, or microwave to make your loaf. Now, you could also use a heated mixer but it would be incredibly, incredibly slow. But a heater mixer does count as a cooking appliance, so you theoretically could make your loaf of bread and your toast on a heated mixer if for some reason that's the only sort of uh, cooking surface you have. Now, the tip with dough is you could pick it up, the flour up, put it on a surface and work and interact with it for one time. Or the tip is you grab the, the uh, flour, you walk over to a regular sink or the starter sink, ones that provide water, you interact with the sink, not place it down, you interact with the O button, it'll automatically turn it into a dough ball. So if you're really close to where your flour and your sink is, it's very easy to pick the flour up, interact with the sink, then you got your dough ball already made. So it does save potentially another one or two seconds of time. That's also a good tip if you get to the stage of automating breakfast which there are videos out on automating breakfast. I have a video out myself. If you go to uh, my channel and you search for automating breakfast, it'll show you a step-by-step -step of how to automate making of the toast exclusively. Now, anyway, after you've made your loaf of bread, you put it on a cutting surface, which could be a workstation. It could be a counter. You could not use a mixer because mixers do not portion. They just mix. But you could put it and interact with it using a portioner, which would take off one slice of bread at a time. You then take that slice of bread and you put it on any sort of cooking surface like I mentioned in the beginning part of the video. It turns it from that white color to the brown color, which shows the toast is finished. You pick it up, you plate it, and you serve it. Now, a loaf of bread gives you eight servings. Gives you eight portions before you have to make another one. So it's good to keep in mind that once you get, if, you have, if you're counting how many customers, you're at six or seven, you know you only have a couple left and you should get another loaf of bread ready to go. Now, the first card you could get, now these, the cards, mind you, are in no particular order. You could get any extra cards at any time on your days, three, six, nine, 12, OT, three, six, nine, 12, et cetera, et cetera. Now, beans is one of those that's quite easy. You pick up a pot, you interact with the bean container, you put it on any sort of cooking surface. All, all the ones I mentioned before, including the oven and microwave, both work for beans. Now, because beans is in a pot, no matter what cooking surface you leave it on, it will not burn. So if you have, say, a danger hob dedicated for beans, you can leave the pot on the danger hob and it will never burn because pots of things do not burn. You then, um, you can see the icon changing from that lighter orange to a darker orange to denote that it's finished. You then have to take your plate with the toast on it, interact with the pot of beans. You can't gather beans first because beans are considered a topping, not a side. So you interact it with the plate of toast, interact it with the pot of beans, and then it shows you exactly what it looks like, that last image on the right-hand side, and then you can serve it. Beans reduce your groups by 15%, so if you're... 15% isn't a lot and beans is a typical card that you'll take for breakfast because it's very easy. Now beans do only now have a four servings per pot. It used to be a lot more, but as of 1.0.4, which is when this video was made, version 1.0.4 of the played up game, beans now only have four portions, which does make it quite more difficult than it used to. Now, the next card you can get is eggs, and eggs are a topping, not a side like the beans are. You basically take your egg, you put it on any sort of cutting or chopping surface, including a mixer. Mixers will chop eggs. You put it on a, on a uh, heat source, turns it from the bowl of egg to the finished egg. You then pick it up and you place it on a plate with toast, or you have the plate of toast in your hand and you interact with it, say, in a prep station, and then it'll automatically get put onto the toast. 
Not hard, easily automated if you have a couple grabbers, a safety hob, etc. The next one is breakfast extras. Adds chopped tomato and chopped mushroom to breakfast. Now there's no cooking involved, but you have to chop onions, or excuse me, mushrooms and tomato. The one tip here with tomatoes is to remember, just like in some of the other ones, is unless you're doing pizza, you have to stop after one chop of the tomato. Because if you don't and you chop it twice or you interact with it two times, both bars fill up, it will turn into sauce, which becomes useless and you have to bin it because it will not be usable for anything in the breakfast dish. You then have your chopped mushroom and tomato. You place it on the plate with the toast already on, or you can interact with prep stations if you have it in prep stations, and then you serve it. And because breakfast extras are toppings, not sides, you can't pull them out and serve them separately like you could, say, a mashed potato or a broccoli. <clears throat> and that is it. So there are two. There's beans, there's eggs, and there's extras. And that brings us right back to the main breakfast card. So breakfast is a quite an easy concept to get into. The making of the loaf of bread does take a bit of time um, compared to the cooking of the toast, which is very, very quick. But it's something that can be easily semi-automated early. All you really need is a grabber pulling from, say, if you're using a hob or a safety hob or danger hob, pulling onto a prep station. And all you have to do is manually chop the bread or slice the bread and put it onto a hob. A hob is my preferred method of cooking toast, mainly because when you get to the automation stage, you can't use an oven to do it because the oven has the action of doors and it won't necessarily work properly. Now, again, if you have a portioner, you can use the portioner to slice the bread for you, conveyor belt it or grabber it right to a safety hob, the safety hob to a grabber, right to a prep station, and then you have your bread being made for you from the low stage onto the finished product. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for another played up learning the basics food card tutorial. Take care now.